Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're going to make our own underbody cleaner for the Jeep. Now last episode we went on some beach trips, we went forward driving and the underneath of the Jeep is completely covered in mud, sand, salt water, everything that you don't want and everything that can cause rust in the future. So we did seal with the underside of the chassis but it's still very important you clean it the best you can. Also at the end of the video we'll be announcing the winner of the drop down tailgate table. Um, if you are the winner uh, just let me know. In the comments, I'll grab you guys' email address and I'll get in contact with you guys and I'll send, get that sent out as soon as possible. So stay tuned for that. But today, we'll be cleaning the underside of the Jeep with this sort of budget cleaner that I've made. There's heaps of different ones on the market you can buy, but they can be 50, 80, 100 dollars. I've seen like 220 dollars. I don't want to spend that much. Come on guys, you know me. So every time I do try to clean it, I always get saturated. I normally use one of those garden cleaners and go Stuff like that, but you always get so wet. So I wanted something that would be like on a little handle or wheels I could just push underneath the Jeep, uh, take it along um, and get it nice and clean, and you're good to go. And there's all those spots that you can't see which are the issue. So let's have a look underneath the Jeep. So you can already see all the mud from last week that I've tried to clean up, but we've still got that. Ugh. And you can see that, yes, um, but you want to clean inside this chassis and all up in these little gaps there, the gearbox, all those places are hard to get to that you can't really see. All up in there. So, a lot of people would probably use like a pressure washer or something like that, but the higher pressure you use, that can push the dirt and sand and salt water into places you actually don't want it. So it's better to use a low pressure system um, but just a lot of it. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time, but something you can leave, uh, let it do its job, come back to it, move it on, let it do its job. So I was at Kmart. Now, if you guys don't know what Kmart is, it's pretty much just like a budget buys or something like that. You guys might have in America. So I found this. So it's pretty much like a garden sprinkler system. Oh, there's, it's got some water on it. Right, a garden sprinkler system that kind of goes as we said before. Now all I've done is attach it to an old uh, broom handle, that way I can get it all the way underneath the Jeep into different positions, move it back and forward, and clean different angles. You can put it up like that as hard as I can, and that way I can just leave it. I can push it all the way underneath um, the Jeep. I can bring it forward, I can bring it back, I can bring it side to side, whatever I want. So all we've got to do, all I've done, you can do it different ways. This was, $10 from Kmart. All I've done is cable tie it to the actual brim handle itself, attach the hose to it, pretty much let it do its job. So let's hook it up to the hose. I'll put a GoPro underneath the Jeep and then we can see the result um, of just actually using this and see how much dirt and sand and just crap that we can get out from underneath the Jeep. So don't forget, at the end of the video, we'll be announcing the winner of the drop down, uh, we'll be announcing the winner of the drop down tailgate table. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So I've had this underneath the Jeep for like, I don't know, half an hour now, just in a different position. Best thing about it is, you've got a long enough hose, you can just move it either to the far of the car, to the opposite side, or bring it back towards you. Plus up an angle to actually get underneath uh, like a gearbox brace mount, um, and also onto all those drifts and anything like that. So you can go to the back, the sides, all over, and different angles. So it's really diverse and it's really cheap to buy. The recycle broom hole and a ten dollar thing from Kmart, cheap and easy, can't go wrong with that. So I've had that probably underneath the Jeep for half an hour now and look at the amount of stuff that's come out of it. That's pretty bloody disgusting. So I might keep that under the Jeep. I might keep that under the Jeep, keep it going and just keep going back and forward. Um, you can just leave them in different spots to remove it um, as you see fit. It's a really simple idea guys, um, but really effective at the same time. Oh, there's a little bit of water. Oh, 
there. But really simple and effective at the same time, which we're after. Uh, really helps with cleaning underneath that chassis, stop that rust. Also, one of the biggest things you can do to stop rust in the actual chassis itself, because this will clean everything that, well, was, you can see this light actually inside the chassis rails itself. So disconnect the hose, have like on a full setting. And what you need to do is see these little bungs just here. Just hold the hose in there um, for a good period of time, and time until the water actually runs clear coming out of the chassis itself and then you know it's completely free of any dirt, any salt, any crud um, and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it for today guys. I know you guys are probably holding out to see who the winner of the tailgate drop down table is. Um, now if you are the winner, um, get in contact with me either via Instagram or YouTube. Uh, just give me your email address and I'll get in contact with you. And then we can figure out if you want two beer holders, two wine holders, uh, whatever it might be. And I can get you dressed and I can make it up and get it sent out to you guys as soon as possible. So I did a random name calculator online and the winner is the Matthew McAllister is the winner. Hope I'm saying your name right mate. Uh, thank you so much for entering. For everyone that entered, um, I think a few people got confused on how to do it. So next time I do a contest I'll make sure I do it a little bit better or something different. But if you guys like these little giveaways and stuff like that, um, it doesn't cost me much, but it's something to give back to you guys to say thank you for supporting the channel um, and watching these videos and supporting what I do. Absolutely love it. So shout out to Matt uh, for entering that contest and thank you for everyone else for entering as well. It's awesome. Um, so Matt, just drop your email address or get in contact me via Instagram or YouTube um, and I'll get it sent out to you as soon as possible. But if you guys are interested in this, I'll leave a link to like the little um, washer thing I bought from Kmart down below if you guys want to check that out. But all it is, just that washer, um, a broom handle, and that's it. A hose, and you've got a clean under the side of your Jeep that you don't have to worry about ever again. And you can bash it a little bit harder off road if you want. Why not? Or just enjoy having your beach trips. And you've got that little bit of peace of mind afterwards as well. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you like this video, smash that subscribe. If you guys like this video, smash that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.